Hello guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we'll be unboxing and setting up the Razer Harpoon RGB mouse. I already unpacked it. The unpacking is actually really boring, but it's unboxed already. So it's still an unboxing because it's unboxed. Okay, anyways, the video I did before this got deleted, so basically the camera application I was using on this screen crashed. So I'm going to use OBS now. So, what we've discussed is this changes the mouse speed. So, like when you're moving it around your screen, it changes the speed. So, there's here's the slowest one red is slowest, white is second to slowest, third, fourth, fifth. And so, this is slow. Next level, next level, next level next level and so I, I like to use green personally that's the same as this one maybe I can go next level up. no I think it's too fast okay and now we're using the setup to set up our Corsair gaming stuff so welcome to Corsair gaming utility or utility engine Yes. It needs half a gigabyte, 537 megabytes to be exact, to install this utility for what I'm using for just a mouse. That's a lot. It should let you choose like what devices are you going to use. Okay, and finish. Let's see this utility engine. Here it is. Oh, so it automatically tells us that we are using Harpoon RGB. What, is it? what do these demos do? Oh, that's nice. That's actually really cool. So you can set your animations. That's actually, that's decently cool. Okay, well, this is the mouse we have here. And, second image. Right now, that should be green. Yeah, it is. Oh! Wait, that's so cool. You guys can see my screen, so. That, and this. Just switching to the same color at the same time. It must be like a mouse identifier. So let's see what effects we can add. Or actions. So you can do actions and let's add. Left click, right click, middle click. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, that's interesting. Well, here's the previous ones that are already there. And you could set macros for every single button here. I believe even right click, wow. Let's remove that macro. Let's go to lighting effects. So here's a light, it's just RGB rainbow. Uh, and you could set the speed with the slider here. So let's see. Slow? Yeah, no. That's better. Oh, and you could also set the rainbow default. So that's regular, I believe. That's rainbow. So, until, unless you install this utility on screen here, you don't get rainbow. Okay. And, hmm, 
Let's see, can we add one? Rainbow tail. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want rainbow. Let's do color shift. What's color shift? Yeah, let's. Does not seem to be doing anything. Alternating between those two. You can turn blue. Uh, um, that's interesting. Um, let's just delete this. Let's try again. Color shift. Random colors. And it's still not switching. That's interesting. And let's let's try and add a, another effect. And color shift didn't work. Color pulse. Let's just do this. And it's not pulsing its colors. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Anyways, it does not seem to be doing anything. That's weird. How do I, like, is there any way to edit it? Nope. It's doing regular settings. Okay. Yeah, random. So let's try alternating. Is that going to do anything? So rainbow automatically makes it rainbow. Oh. Yeah, that's so weird. I cannot find out how to possibly get that to work. Okay, I'm going to just remove that. And let's test another one. Maybe it would work. Um, static color. Oh, must just keep it at that color. And I don't think that's going to work. Wow, what am I doing wrong? Hmm. So there's a color wheel. On the now you can see the screen. I have honestly no clue of what I'm doing wrong. I might need support. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, so static color keeps out the specific color. Let's see what's not, what other one do I have? Lightning link. Now it's working? Question mark. Spiral rainbow. What's that? Okay, I like spiral spiral rainbow rainbow wave. Yeah, I like spawn visor. Mm, that's interesting. Rain. What's rain? Color shift. Is that like a slow rainbow? Yep, it's like slow rainbow. Color pulse. Color wave. Type lighting ripple. And that does nothing, wait. Oh, 
So whenever you click, it does something. So click, 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 click. Too bad it doesn't show like a click animation here. That's actually interesting. I might use that. I'm going to like slow it down a lot. Oh. Yeah. We're still doing light effects. Personally, I think I'm going to go with the spiral rainbow. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay. So apparently you have to use a lightning link. I don't know what that's for. But, okay. It works. Rainbow, I guess we'll just leave that off. And we have to fix our DPI settings. Okay, that's good. DPI, default amount. Oh, and here you could set custom colors for the DPI. So I prefer, I apparently prefer 2000 DPI. Max is 650. And you can do 250. That's interesting. Sniper. Oh, they have like a sniper mode? That's interesting. Must be like if you're using a sniper gun. That's cool. Performance pointer speed. Okay, I, I like it. That's good. I Personally, I rate this out as a 9 out of 10. Well, 8 out of 10. Doesn't have, it's like probably a cheap mouse because my bro my brother bought it, but has a nice light. You can do custom clicks with it. That's nice, and you can modify all of it with this app. Again, the app is slightly difficult to use. Well, for me it was, and I had some problem with the light effects. Apparently, you have to use Lightning Link for the specific mouse, and it would be nice if we could just use the other ones here. So, like, instead of doing lightning link, you should just be able to use the ones in here. I don't know what the difference is anyway, so it doesn't matter. Lightning link. Okay, that's great. I'm not using, like, Thunderbolt. That's not what it is. Okay. Anyways, the mouse is nice. I like how you can get the DPS up to 6,000. Do I prefer you buy the specific one? I would browse other products before you have your heart set on this one. Otherwise, it's a good device. It works good. I probably can play Fortnite with this. Yeah, probably can. I'll test that out and not on video. But I will test that out and yeah, I'll test it out. And probably I'll tell you in the comments. I might not. No promises. Okay. And the, applica the application does look sharp, though. I like the GUI that they used. Now, let me get my face cam out. That is it. Um, it's really till you make it. Joseph Gaming. There we go. Yep. There we go, Joseph Gaming. No. There we go. So, it's a nice application. The lights are great. They give you a lot of options. Okay. Well, and actually, let's look in the global settings. Pull and read. Eight milliseconds. Okay. So, it's super fast. That's, that seems to all be good. Firmware update. There's an update with this maps. No. Okay. It's update. Apparently you can update your mouse. And there's an SDK and that's cool. Let's check for update. You're using the latest version. Show only connected devices. There we go. That's better. So if you want to remove all of those demo devices, just click um, go in the settings and then click on show only connected devices. Okay, it's a good thing I found that out. Simplified to something that Jonathan can use now. Now I have to install this to every single device Jonathan's going to use at Masters. So I guess I'm going to be back. See you in the next episode. Bye.